What's up guys, it's Moose here, and today we're gonna to be going through a tour of Victory Hall at the University of North Texas. Today we're gonna to be looking at a single occupancy room. I looked up Victory Hall on YouTube and I saw a lot of videos created by former students and it had a lot of misinformation on it. One of the videos literally said that Victory was gonna to be torn down. That is not true at all. So today we're gonna to go through the entire building. We're gonna look at some amazing things and I'm gonna give you some information about it because I've worked in this hall before and I've lived here before too and I work for housing so I know some information. So let's get to it. Starting off, we're gonna go check out the laundry space area. As you can see when you walk in, there's gonna be some vending machines right here too. My freshman year, this is like my go-to place when I was studying all night and I'm using some snacks. And this is gonna be the centralized laundry space area. So this is the only laundry space you'll see in this building. Um, so everyone's gonna be using it. However, the ratio turns out to be three person to a machine. So when I lived here, I never had a single problem finding a machine. You never have to pay for anything because it's covered through your tuition. So you have to bring in your detergent and you're all good to go. In case you don't know how to do your laundry, they even have how to do your laundry signs right there too, which is really cool. And when you're doing it, you just have to put on your timer so you know when it's done so you can come down and grab your stuff. Moving on from the lobby space area, oh, I was pushing it, it should be cool, but let's keep all walking. As you can see, this is gonna be the lobby area. Victory has the largest lobby space out of any other hall, and typically Victory has been an extremely active hall, so whenever you're coming down here, you're gonna see a lot of people hanging out in all these seating spaces. Um, typically, you'll see people with their PS4 hanging out down here, playing video games, watching movies, hanging out in this area. Typically, you'll see a lot of RAs at the front desk, hanging out with residents. However, things are gonna be changing a little bit more because of COVID-19. So a lot of these seats, everything is gonna be moved away a little bit farther from each other in order to accommodate for social distancing. We won't be letting people gather around as much anymore. However, your RAs are still gonna make sure you're still able to build community and make friends, but it's just gonna be a little bit different this year. Over here, we have the front desk. The front desk is gonna be 24 hours a day. Um, so in case you have an emergency, you need anything, or you need some information, you can always come down here and ask them for something. If you lock yourself out of your room, you can always come down and ask for a temporary key. Um, typically, this is where you'd go to to get some uh, basic cleaning supplies and also to grab um, equipment for pool and ping pong. However, due to COVID-19, we're not going to be checking out pool and ping pong equipment this year. Part of the lobby area, as you can see, Victory has a huge lobby. We'll have the two pool tables, a ping pong table, and a foosball table. Um, typically, you'd be able to use them up, to, up until 10 p.m. on weekdays and 12 a.m. on weekends. After that, we have quiet hours, which means you just have to bring down the noise level so other people aren't bothered if they're trying to go to bed. And we also have 24-hour courtesy hours, which means you have to be a good neighbor, so don't blast your music while you're in your room. Um, typically, you'd be able to use these. However, because of COVID-19, during the fall semester at least, you will not be able to use this area. As you keep on walking through this space, you're going to find a bunch of study areas. My freshman year, personally, I used to be in these tables all the time with my friends and I would study. Um, they have charging ports on the floor too, so you can charge your laptop. Um, back in the day, two years ago, uh, they used to have computers there, but they removed them. They have a little kitchen space area right there too, but there's only a microwave there, so if you want to use it, you can. Um, in this space area right here, we have a meeting room and a computer lab, so the computer lab is going to come with a printer, so you don't have to go to the library because the library is going to be very far away because as you can tell already that Victory is one of the farthest hall from campus, so you can always come down here and use the printer if you need to. I was talking about uh, Victory before. Victory is a very active hall, so there's all kinds of stuff always happening. People are always hanging out together. All these puzzles are some puzzles that residents have done throughout the years. This puzzle is actually one of the ones I worked on my freshman year that's still up here. So every single year, students come up and during finals week, our front desk clerk will buy a whole bunch of puzzles for us and we get to just relax while we're studying, make some puzzles and sometimes she'll put them on the walls, which is really cool. As we keep walking down here, we're gonna see my favorite cafeteria of all times, Chan's Cafeteria. Chan's is one of the few cafeterias that will make you burgers to order. 
Uh, for breakfast, they will have scrambled eggs to order and omelets to order, and they'll make you breakfast burritos to order. In my opinion, it's one of the best cafeterias on campus, so if you're at UNT and you're living on campus, I strongly recommend eating at Champs. All right, guys, so as we're walking out from where the cafeteria is, over here, we're gonna have a media room, which has like actual movie theater chairs. I can't open the door right now because it's closed and people are cleaning everything up due to COVID-19 and everything, but it has a giant TV inside. It has movie uh, chairs and everything and reclining chairs, which is really cool. Um, my freshman year, personally, I used to go down there all the time and watch movies with my friends and it's a really fun time. However, again, <laughs> Due to COVID-19, there's going to be limitations to it. There's going to be a fewer number of people that are going to be able to use it at times. And as you come back on campus, there's going to be a lot of restrictions. So what I recommend is being flexible with the rules. So moving on from looking at the media room, the cafeteria area, and the lobby, we're going to go through this hall next and we're going to check out the room. We're going to be looking at a single occupancy room that's going to be at Victory Hall that's going to be for majority upperclassmen students. If you're a freshman, you're going to be living in a double occupancy room. So while you're going into your hall, every single hall is going to be wide access. So if you don't live in this building, you will not be able to get in. Typically, we recommend that if you have people over, you have to escort them in and you have to escort them out. And if you have people over, just make sure it's okay with your roommate. Now, let's just go up to the room real quick. So we're gonna be going in and looking at the single occupancy room at Victory Hall. So let's go right in and check it out. So this is what a standard single occupancy room will look like. As you can see, each person, so my bad, by yourself, you're going to get your own closet space area, which is gonna look a little something like this. As you can see, there's a lot of space and then you're gonna have some shelf spacing up there too, which is really cool. You're gonna get your own sink that's gonna be in your room. You are in charge of cleaning it up and then you're gonna get a bed that is going to be loftable and you're gonna get your own desk and chair and your own dresser too. The bed is going to be loftable up to three feet high, so you can actually put furniture and stuff underneath it, like this person has their dresser underneath and some ladders too, in case you're a short person and you really need to go up. <laughs> you can bring in your TV or any kind of electronic as long as it's a thousand watts below and doesn't have an open heat surface. So you can't have something like a toaster, but you can have like an air fryer, a microwave and a fridge. Um, the room will also come with internet and cable. Moving on, we're going to be looking at the bathroom. The bathroom is going to be a Jack and Stone jail style bathroom. So you are going to be sharing the bathroom with another person on the other side. This room specifically doesn't have it because it's an ADA accommodations room. But typically, just imagine there's going to be another door on the other side. So you're going to be sharing the bathroom with another person. So this is what a standard bathroom will look like. Walking in, you're going to have the toilet and the shower right there. And yeah guys, and that was our tour of a Victory Hall single occupancy room at the University of North Texas. If you found this video to be useful, please like and subscribe. And also check out the tour I made of Rollins Hall. Uh, in the descriptions below, I also created a list of dorm room essentials that I strongly recommend buying because it makes life a lot more easier. And I hope you found this video to be useful and hope you have an amazing day.